MISI stands for the Materials International Space Station Experiment. Um, and what we did was back in 1990, 1996, uh, we had a program called MEEP. It was a predecessor to MISI, uh, to MISI. We put up on the MIR uh, space station. And it was to expose materials to the space environment. So from that early beginning in 1996, uh, we transitioned to a series of MISI missions. We've had over 80 organizations ex expose over 4,000 samples uh, to the space environment for research. What happens at the next stage is now that we have a feasible design, we need to kind of make sure that those, we can start to do the detailed design. Researchers will be looking to mature all of these concepts that we have into feasible concepts so we can say this is our baseline configuration that has been fully vetted by uh, the NASA team, the MISIX team, as well as the International Space Station Program Office who is our infusion partner. So what will happen is that we will have our um, facility built, the MISIX facility built. We will have filtered in all of the experiments from the different research communities, from DOD, from NASA, industry and academia. We will have done all the integration and tests on these experiments, integrated them into our MISIX facility and delivered a payload which is complete with the facility and the experiments ready to launch. Um, and we're going to deliver that in November of 2015 so going on from there, what we're targeting is we're targeting um, SpaceX 11 um, launch vehicle and a Dragon capsule, um, and that is going to be targeted for April of 2016. So basically what happens is that we'll launch in the unpressurized uh, volume of the Dragon capsule. Um, and what that means is that once we get up to ISS and uh, it's birth to ISS, then they have the robotic arm that comes out and removes our uh, payload, and it will install it on the ELC-2 site which is the Express Logistics Carrier Site 2 um, up on ISS, which is currently where MISI-8 is still um, deployed. So MISI-8 by that time will have been removed and, and brought back to Earth, and we'll, MISI-X will be installed at the ELC-2 location. All of that's done robotically. Um, we have all of the connections for data, for power, that'll be um, robotically connected, and then we will um, be operational and operational means that we're able to send up commands to some of our active experiments to um, either um, actuate uh, certain experiments, be able to um, uh, turn things on, turn things off, uh, uplink data, downlink data, and just kind of monitor what's going on in the uh, space environment. The experiments will stay exposed for a certain duration of time, whether it's six months or one year. Some of those experiments will then be retrieved and brought back to Earth in a uh, return vehicle. Some of those we've already gotten all the information so we can um, destructively destroy them on re-entry. 